Good morning, guys. Uh, it's actually just in the afternoon. <coughs> um, I spent this morning with Nick's mom. We were packing up some t-shirts so that those could get shipped out. Nick came over to our buddy shop to do a little work on the car. And we have the bus. You can see just a little bit of it. We've got the bus and a 24-foot uh, trailer hooked up to the back of it. We are going to head down to West Virginia. Um, there's a guy coming from South Carolina that is bringing us a body that is going to work. So we're super excited about that. Um, we're meeting him in West Virginia. We're going to put the body in our trailer and then make our way back up. It's about six and a half hour drive or so. It's like the perfect middle point where we're meeting. So we're going to have dinner with them, come back up and continue getting to work now. Today is Friday. It's Black Friday. There was a no prep deal at US 60 in Indiana and we were supposed to be out there for that but obviously we weren't going to make it. And then tomorrow there's another no prep race that they've got going on um, not too far from there. There's a Kentucky cash days I guess. So good luck to all those racers that are out there. You guys be safe. Um, we've got seven days before we have to be on the road we got to be the small tire uh class runs for digger die on saturday so we've got to be out in north carolina rockingham uh dragway before drivers meeting on saturday next week so we've got just over or just a week basically to finish getting this car put back together so we're gonna get on the road i guess it's starting to snow so we'll have to be careful driving but it's not bad out yet so we should be good but wish us luck all right nick where are we so we're we're in somewhere in like west virginia area uh tammy and todd um we just met them and uh took You're them from out south to, carolina area from south carolina area um they were friends with the guy that had the car so we took them out for a little bit of a steak dinner and uh we're going to throw them some fuel money but they offered to help us out um which is generally, generally, genuinely appreciated. Um, but we're going to throw them some fuel money and a little bit of a bonus. And uh, we had a pretty good dinner with them um, over at, what was that, Logan's, Logan's. Logan's Steakhouse? My steak was pretty good. Was your steak good? Or well, your I, chicken? I yeah. got chicken, but yeah, it was pretty good. So, um, never been there before. It's time to head back to New York almost. So I'm going to go back this thing up, and uh, May's going to direct me, but she's going to give you a little <laughs> bit of a sneak peek at the, uh, the new project. So, here goes nothing. I don't know if you guys can see it over there. Do you know what this means? Do you know what this means? Hey, do you know what this means? You're a hot dog head, baby. <laughs> Before we start looking at now, right. you already look like an idiot. I thought I was beautiful. That's what you told me this morning when we woke up next to each other. No, that was Mia. What? Mia said you were beautiful. Yeah, she always says I'm beautiful, even when I'm ugly. <laughs> okay, go Mr. Beast loves you. <laughs> go get the bed right. So, guys, I had to pull over to hook up the fuel thing. You in there? Yeah, what's up? <laughs> I just saying. Come on and say I love you. Good night. 
I give you a pillow. Back to driving. Ugh. My fuel gauge was getting low, so I had to hook up the fuel seal. But we good now. We Gucci. Gucci ain't too gangster. I take that back. Um, heard it again. Headed back to New York. With a pit stop, pit stop in Pittsburgh to pick up some wheels. Well, it's a bittersweet moment. We didn't want to have to do it, but in order to help get the car back together and free up some money and this and that, um, we had a pickup truck that we had picked up down south and it was a really nice truck and I wanted to keep it, but we had to put it up for sale. And there's a guy, he's just coming now to pick it up. Um, so he's taking her back home, he's from Georgia. And he's in the military stationed up here in New York. But uh, we said when he gets out, he's going to be going back down to Georgia. And it's a really nice southern truck. So it'll be perfect for him. And uh, now we got a little bit of money in our pocket to help get the car back together. Um, like I said, free up some money right away for it. So <sighs> Nick's in the garage with Rob. And Donnie was out there helping them. But... Rob and Nick are working away. I'm going to go in and see what kind of trouble they're getting into. Where are we going, Nick? You want to go play at the park? Yeah, I think so. We're going to take a break? Yeah, we're going to go play on the swings. Go we're play in the park over there? Brilliant idea, Robbie Bobby. Oh, yeah, it's brilliant. Let's take a swing. Who's calling? I think that was It's that. Tammy's Bluetooth in the... Truck. Don't step in the water. Oh, oh, oh. You got rubber boots on, bro. I can walk wherever the hell I want. Okay. So this is going to have to be on, well, this is going to have to be on a video in like two days because we're working so fast. Hey, this guy, go, he's got his name on his shirt for when he forgets his name. That's line, 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 I. <laughs> Triple I? Yep. Don't open up the back door. Sure. Playtime's over, kids. So what are you uh, working on in the garage, Nick? Um, I don't know. Well, what is it? A little bit of everything. Today's Saturday. A little bit of everything. I don't know if it's going to be a straight gangster. I don't know if it's going to be the dirty hustler. Working on something. Working on a project. So we're going to try to go racing in now. Six days? Oh no, today is Saturday? Yeah. Yeah, six days. I guess we can go with it. Following you. So, good news is the shop doesn't really have much heat, so the heat's in the tools. So we gotta work really, really fast just so we don't become, uh, uh, what are those called? Icicles? Yeah, what those humans that are called like icicles? Like a fucking Eskimos? Mummy. Like a mammoth. Eskimos? Yeah, like an Eskimo. No, Eskimos like the cold, I think. I don't I think, think they that like it. it. I think that's just where they live and that's just how they happen to be. I mean, like, with the part where the internet, why wouldn't they just move? Right? Like, the trap. Why wouldn't they like it? <laughs> why don't they just move? See, I don't know. Well, I don't know. Maybe like <laughs> Google Play.
they open it, apparently. They gave me the wrong wheel base. Cut! No, for real. This Pro Girl will be back momentarily. <laughs> after, after this commercial. After some delays. <laughs> Well, while Nick looks at that, I'm going to do a little walk around of everything that is damaged and everything that also is miraculously in good shape. So, as you can see, um, underneath the body, this roll cage is very um, detailed. Nick put a lot of work and time and everything into when he was building it. There's a lot of structure there so that everything could have been supported and as strong as possible. Um, nothing foundation-wise is ruined on the car. There's a lot of brackets that got um, bent or were broken or different things like that. But the funny car cage, the main hoop... Um, the halo, like, all of that stuff is in really good shape. The door bars are, you know, everything is what it needs to be. Um, not anything really with the motor or transmission was damaged. Uh, the front axle has some also bent parts, brackets, whatever on it. Um, but as you can see, everything looks pretty well. Nick has gone through and inspected everything and measured it to make sure that it's still square. Um, nothing was bent or twisted or, you know, anything like that to compromise the safety of the chassis. It's looking pretty good. As you can see, there's just a lot of detailed work in there and not many people really get to see this part of a car. Um, so it was kind of neat for me to see what all these bars look like when you take the body off. If you're looking to get some merchandise, the Homegrown Hustler t-shirts and hoodies are going to be pulled off the website tomorrow morning, so get those orders in now. If you're interested in getting an order in, um, but you're out of the country, just send us a message and I can take care of you for that as well. And then, of course, we also have the Dig or Die Challenge um, spots available on the website if you're interested in getting in on that. Uh, we appreciate you guys watching. If you need any products for some of the companies that we're dealers for, also feel free to reach out. We're doing our best to get back to every message, comment, email, all of that. So thank you guys for the support and watching. We'll see you tomorrow.